What's up guys, my name is Asale from AP Tech and today we're going to help you update your BMW iDrive. And the reason that you might want to update your BMW iDrive is number one is because you've just purchased a vehicle and you're not sure if your iDrive is up to date. Number two is that you've had your vehicle for a very long time, you've not had the opportunity to visit your BMW local technician to update your software so you want to do it yourself and also cut cost. And number three is because you are basically want to be up to date with your software just like what we do in our daily life. So if these are the things that you're interested in, I would urge you to watch through till the end. I've done this type of video before and it was quite successful, which is under 100,000 views. I'll leave a link on that specific video if you want to watch that video so that way you can actually get the exact information and the process that I went through so how you can update your BMW software. So this video is going to go on a little bit more detail on how to update your BMW software and a little bit more information about other vehicles. So if this is something that you're interested in, sit tight and stay along. In order for you to update your BMW software, you're going to need a few things. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is a VIN. What is a VIN? VIN is a vehicle identification number. You can get this VIN number from so many places. The first place where you can get this VIN number is through your windscreen or through your dashboard. So I will show you how you can get your VIN, which is right here. And the second place that you can get your VIN is through your paperwork. So if you purchase this vehicle quite recent, in UK we've got something called Logbook. Logbook is something that um, is recognized from the government. It has basically the details of the vehicle as well as your information in terms of your postal address and your name and your personal data. So the VIN number can be found in there and the vehicle information. Other areas that you can find VIN number is through your iDrive itself. However, the iDrive does not give you the full VIN number. It only gives you the last seven digits. But for this process, you're going to need the full digits of the VIN number in order for you to get their software from BMW's website. So with that, the second thing you're going to need is that you're going to need something like some sort of a, a USB. So I'm using this USB to update my BMW software. I'm going to download the software from BMW's website. I'm going to plug it in here and then I'm going to plug it into my center core uh, or some vehicle may have it in their glove box. The third thing you're going to need is you're going to need some sort of a computer. Let's go ahead to my trusty computer and then download the software and show you how this right, can so be done. So now we're in my trusty computer here and we're going to turn on my MacBook M1 and then we're going to plug this USB drive in here. So once we plug it in, I'm going to show you a screen um, view of how this software can be downloaded into your Mac. So I'm using Mac in this steps, basically it does not matter which computer you use. So once you plugged in the USB, um, you just need to go to your disk utility in your Mac. So once you've gone to your disk utility, you will locate the USB that you want to work on. I will suggest you to erase everything. So we just need to clear everything. So I, and then you need the file to be MDOS fat. So you've got the MDOS fat right there. So mine's currently set. So I'm going to clear everything. So first, obviously you need to back up if you've got any files in there. And if it's a new um, uh, USB, you just need to change the format to be MDOS FAT. So once you've erased that, so that's gonna take you a couple of seconds. Um, so my com my computer has erased the USB and it's just re basically um, is doing it into a format that I've requested. So now the USB has been erased. We're gonna go straight to BMW's website. We're gonna write bmw.com slash software and then in here you can reject all of the cookies you just need to enter your VIN number so in my case I'm going to enter my VIN number which is 17 digits and then after that is going to give me the software that's available for my vehicle so I'm just going to quickly fast forward this part here and then I'm going to basically download this file and this file has been downloaded, which is right there. And then I'm going to basically move it into my USB hard drive, which is right here. So I'm going to drag and drop. So I'm going to minimize that, so which is right here. And then I'm going to double click to open the zip file. And the zip file is there. So I'm going to delete this one and keep that in here. So as you can see, these are the files that are, that goes along with this. So. We're gonna quickly eject the file and now we're gonna go back to my vehicle and update the process. So, right, I'm back now in the vehicle 
and um, we've managed to download our software into this pin and obviously you once you have that into your pin I'm going to show you now where you can plug it in and download the software itself okay so as you can see from there we can plug in our USB straight in from here and then that would allow us to see from our platform so the first thing you need to do is when you're back to your vehicle is you need to turn on your ignition once you have your ignition on you're going to scroll all the way down to your setting and then from your there you're going to scroll all the way down to software update which is right here and then in there you're going to click software update so and then it's telling you it, these are the information that you will get straight away just make sure that vehicle is basically it's going to take about a minute and um, so only do this when the vehicle is stationary install the software it's going to ask you are you sure the ignition is on the system will be unavailable for that kind of period yes i'm happy with that and then boom there you go so that is literally updating the software as we speak so this takes less than a minute and um, so what i'm going to do is fast forward this part here and then and that's about it you are pretty much done okay so it's asking you the software it's telling us the software was successfully and now we need to basically uh, switch off the engine so the vehicle is completely off as we were instructed to turn it off completely and we're going to boot it back on and we're going to show you the software that we have now managed to install so we're going to go straight down to the setting and then we're going to go to software update and then in there we can show you the current version so we've managed to update our software uh, very successfully and as you can see for those of you who are interested in updating their software this is all you need to do in order for you to update your software if you so if you have managed to reach up to this level then you know your software is up to date for those who have not managed to update their software up to this level and that could be two reasons one is your vehicle is too old and the BMW has discontinued providing software updates and reason number two is that for those who have a newer vehicle um, your BMW has already got the most up-to-date software and this is one of the reasons that you are not able to update your software like this method for those who have managed to update their software in return of this video I would request you to do two things for me one is to hit the like button and also two is to comment below I have managed to update my software for those who are not able to update their software according to this process I would like to know what sort of errors are you getting in your iDrive or in your computer so that way I can tailor it to you your responses I can do another Q&A video just solely dedicated on these type of things um, so therefore I would request you to subscribe um, for more videos like this one till next time stay legend Started facing at a photo they've taken. Space tree flying through the skies and battles happen everywhere. I don't need any hero to save me. I don't know why the kids always crying.